Hey everyone, in this video I would like to show you how to build a metal volcano tamer. Now the purpose of this design is to extract the refined metal produced by any metal volcano. Now all metal volcanoes uh, output refined metal in liquid state, which means it is very hot. So in order to use it we need to cool it down to a reasonable temperature first. So let's go over the operation of this design. The cooling of the refined metal is achieved by using a steam turbine, an aqua tuner, and a conveyor rail loop. Now, the volcano itself is enclosed inside the steam chamber, along with the aqua tuner. Now, when the volcano erupts, the liquid refined metal coming out of the volcano exchanges heat with the steam and heats it up. When the liquid uh, metal solidifies, it is picked up by a sweeper and loaded into a conveyor rail that loops inside the steam chamber. The refined metal in the conveyor loop keeps exchanging heat with the steam and heats it up. When the temperature of the steam rises above 125 degrees Celsius, the steam turbine begins to work and removes heat from the steam, creating power in the process. The steam turbine cools the steam and the refined metal on the rails to around 125 degrees Celsius. At this stage, the refined metal is still too hot to be used, so it's needed to be cooled further. When the temperature of the refined metal on the rails uh, drops to around 130 degrees Celsius, it is pulled out of the loop and redirected into a secondary rail track leading into a diamond heat exchanger. Now, the component responsible for measuring the temperature on the rails is an improvised rail sensor. This sensor is a thermal sensor placed inside a small chamber filled with gas. The rails pass through this chamber and exchange heat with the gas. The temperature of the gas then lines up with the material on the rails and the thermal sensor measures the temperature of the gas. This gives an approximation of the temperature of the refined metal on the rails. Now the sensor is connected with an automation wire to a conveyor rail shutoff, which when activated redirects the refined metal on the rails from the steam chamber into the diamond heat exchanger. Now, the diamond heat exchanger is kept cold and cooled by an aqua tuner. As refined metal passes through the heat exchanger, it is further cooled to around 50 degrees Celsius and exits the system. It is now cold enough uh, and can be transported uh, for, to storage. Okay, so let's talk about the piping system. So, the roles of the piping system and the aqua tuner in this design are to cool the steam turbine and the heat exchanger by pumping cold coolant uh, through them. Now the coolant of choice for this design is cooled oil, but polluted water and petroleum are both suitable. What I like about cooled oil is that you can reduce its temperature to uh, lower values than polluted water. So the piping system ends and starts in a liquid reservoir. When coolant leaves the liquid reservoir, its temperature is checked by a thermos sensor. If the temperature of the coolant is below the set value on the sensor, it will be sent back into the cooling loop, right over here. And if it's above the set value, meaning it's too hot, it will be sent into the aqua tuner for cooling to the desired temperature, again set by a thermo sensor, and then sent back into the cooling loop. Now, since the steam turbine is active for uh, small periods of time and the amount of cooling needed for the heat exchanger is fairly small, the aqua tuner doesn't work most of the time and doesn't consume a lot of power. In a matter of fact, this system produces more power than it, than it consumes. So, contrary to what you're looking at, the steam turbine doesn't need to be enclosed inside an isolated chamber like this, since it idles most of the time and doesn't produce a lot of heat. The reason why mine isn't closed is that unfortunately this metal volcano spawned too close to the space biome and it is exposed to the vacuum of space. Therefore I had to enclose it and pump some gas inside to allow heat exchange. In normal circumstances it is perfectly fine to leave the turbine in the open. So for materials steel was used to build the aqua tuner, liquid shut off all of conveyor loader and auto sweeper inside the steam chamber. The conveyor rails and bridges inside the steam chamber are made out of wolframite. Uh, still can be used as well uh, instead of wolframite if you don't have access to wolframite. 
And the rails in the heat exchanger are made out of iron. And pretty much any cheap metal you have, like aluminum and copper, can also work. The heat exchanger is made out of uh, window tiles made out of diamond. Um, refined metal can also be used um, in terms of uh, metal tiles. But I like the visual transparent look of the window tiles. And diamond also has an excellent thermal conductivity property. In terms of power and automation, we have our steam turbine connected directly into the main power grid backbone. On the main power grid, we have a branch going into a transformer and a smart battery. The transformer feeds the circuit uh, of the metal volcano tamer and all its components. And the automation is pretty simple. The smart battery is controlling the steam turbine. If the smart battery is full, it will shut off the steam turbine to avoid unnecessary power waste. And that's pretty much it. I would be happy to hear your thoughts about it. And if you have any questions, then feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Other than that, I will now pass the stage to my duplicants and they will demonstrate how to build a metal volcano tamer from scratch. So grab a cup of tea, get comfortable and enjoy the show.